What's good fam? Welcome to Tito's Kitchen. In today's video, I got a Southern classic country Cajun meal for you today. We doing blackened swordfish and shrimp po' boy sandwich. Now on this channel, I try to overall cook healthy meals. Some things may not be so healthy and it's all about the flavor and some things are healthy and still have flavor. But overall, I'm trying to keep, keep things pretty healthy. I also wanna encourage people to cook at home because um, you know, when, when you cook at home, you're in control of the ingredients that goes into your food. So you can put the amount of salt that you wanna put in your food or butter or fat or whatever whatever you're putting in your food, you control it. So when you cook home, just overall, you're gonna end up eating healthier. So just a quick little tip on that, for sure. All right, fresh ingredients. We have our lettuce, tomato, lemon, fresh French bread, the star of the show, swordfish and shrimp. And our black and season combination consists of onion powder, garlic powder, cayenne pepper, paprika, hickory smoked salt, and fresh ground pepper. Okay, I'm gonna start off by shredding up this lettuce, slicing our tomato, and cutting our lemon and setting those to the side. Now we're gonna season the shrimp and the swordfish. We're gonna start off with our hickory smoked salt. Go ahead and get a nice coating of season right on top of that. Then our cayenne pepper. Not too much, just enough to give us a kick. Then we're gonna put on our paprika. You can put a liberal amount of that on, that's gonna give it that nice color that we're looking for, that blackened season color. Put on a little bit of ground pepper, onion powder. Liberal amounts of onion powder and garlic powder. There's no sodium in it, so you can put as much as you want. It won't affect you in a health way. We're gonna flip the swordfish and the shrimp over and repeat the same process this time, I'm not gonna add in the salt, just to watch my sodium levels. Okay, we're gonna get our pan up to temperature and drop some garlic butter in there. Then we're gonna lay our swordfish steaks down. Now, I'm not gonna cook our shrimp initially because it cooks very fast. So we'll add the shrimp right before we flip over the swordfish. Perfect. Flip this over. I dropped a little bit more butter in there and I'm gonna flip over this, this shrimp now. And we're just gonna wait a couple more minutes until this shrimp is ready. Mm, I know you see that, y'all. I know you see that. That's what you call blacking swordfish right there. Takes about a total of about, I'll say five minutes to cook everything. All right, they're ready to go. So we're gonna put that to the side and uh, prep our bread, because it's almost that time. Get the bread ready. I'm gonna cut the ends off of the bread. Then I'm gonna slice the bread right down the middle long ways. Now, we're gonna get some of that homemade garlic butter and lather it right on our, our bread. I'm gonna press it down a little bit just to make sure the whole surface gets toasted nice and good. And we're gonna do the same for the other piece as well. Mmm, that looks good. All right, time to build. Lay on a nice little amount of the homemade remoulade sauce. I actually have a video on that you can check out after that, I'll show you how to make that from scratch. Then we're gonna put in our pickles and our lettuce. Then drop on our tomatoes. Put about four slices of tomatoes on there. Now, put down your swordfish steaks. We're gonna add our shrimp, about three shrimp on each one. And squeeze on some fresh lemon juice. And then add one more round of that remoulade sauce. Sheesh. 
there you go. Put the top on and you got a masterpiece right there. You know what time it is. Let's do it. Okay, y'all, it's about that time. Taste test. Let's see how this bad boy came out. Woo. Yeah, it's sloppy. That's a good sign. Mmm. Mmm. Delicious. Mmm. If you're a seafood lover, this is it right here. You got swordfish. If you don't, if you don't cook the swordfish right, it can't come out dry. So you want to cook it until it's just done. But you can taste the flavor from the seasoning, the blackened seasoning we put in. You got the freshness from the lettuce, tomatoes, the pickles, that Raymolot sauce adds the perfect touch to it. You can taste the but. Man, Google, ain't nobody even asked you nothing. Anyway, the freshness of the pickles, the lettuce, tomatoes, it rounds it all off. This is delicious. Try it at home. You won't regret it. Trust me. To the next time. Let me, let me uh, handle this, though. Peace. If you haven't already, smash that like button and consider subscribing to my channel. Tap that bell so you'll be notified every time I drop a new recipe.